Hi, I'm Dennis Howlett with Canadians for Tax Fairness. And today I want to talk about why we need to tackle tax havens. Canada is losing a lot of money to tax havens. Money that uh, people should be paying in taxes uh, is being hidden in tax havens or uh, big companies are using tax havens to shift their profits out of Canada to uh, avoid paying taxes. Tax havens are offshore jurisdictions uh, like some of the Caribbean islands or countries like Switzerland uh, or Ireland. Uh, there are a number of countries that have very low or no taxes and offer secrecy. They are sometimes called secrecy jur jurisdictions, banking secrecy. So no one can find out who's got accounts there and who's hiding their money there. One of the ways that corporations avoid paying taxes is shifting their profits to a tax haven. A good example is the company Chemical, which is a uranium miner, miner in Saskatchewan. They set up a subsidiary in Switzerland and signed a long-term, like a 15-year agreement to sell the uranium uh, to the ultimate customer, uh, but they signed in a, a, at a very artificially low price. So at about uh, $3 a pound for uranium. But in the meantime, the world market price went away up to a 10 and $14 a pound. So Canada, the company in Canada, was selling it at $3 a pound, but their subsidiary was turning around and selling it at 10 or $14 a pound. And so most of the profits from the sale of uranium were accumulating in Switzerland, where they were paying 2% taxes. In Canada, they would have had to pay 35%. Uh, now it's down to 25% but a lot more than the 2% in Switzerland. And that way, they avoided paying $1.6 billion uh, from 1999 to uh, 2010. And that figure is probably going to go up as uh, they get assessed on the last few years since 2010. They've been caught because uh, they were trying to do this with uranium, which has a world market price. But many other companies do the same kind of thing with intellectual property, patents, or trademarks. And when they set up a subsidiary, uh, sell these patents to their subsidiary, which turns around and leases it uh, back to the parent company, but at a highly inflated uh, dollar amount. And that's a way to shift money out of Canada and claim artificially low profits in Canada and pay low taxes here. Another big problem is wealthy individuals. And especially if they get their income from investments, they can set up their investments so that the money they earn gets sent to their bank account in Barbados or some other Caribbean tax haven. And then they don't report that income when they file their taxes. And so they end up paying way less than they should uh, by using tax havens. The other group using tax havens is criminal and terrorist organizations. A lot of money laundering is done, uh, facilitated by the secrecy that tax havens offer. Uh, this is a global problem. There are steps being taken to uh, try to, to change the rules, to make uh, the tax havens more transparent, and to change the rules for corporate taxes so that they can't play these kinds of games anymore. But one of the things Canada needs to do is increase their uh, auditing uh, and, and have staff in the Canada Revenue Agency that can go after tax cheats that are using tax havens. 
uh, unfortunately, our government is going in the opposite direction. They just gave notices to 200 Canada Revenue Agency staff in the very department that's supposed to go after tax haven tax cheats. That's not the way to go. We need to do more.